Thanks for tuning in to CLTV, Creative Loafing Charlotte. My name is Kendria Mecca. I make my living as a multimedia designer and a new media journalist. But I'm also a poet, a performer, and now a playwright. So I was able to slip away from my duties as a multimedia journalist for a few weeks uh, because a play that I co-wrote called Miles and Coltrane Blue Period by Concrete Generation was featured at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. There are about 100 shows per day, every day, for a whole month. Edinburgh Fringe is the largest arts festival in the world. Yes, the world. And I got to experience it with 11 other artists who live and work out of our beautiful Queen City. So in exchange for a few weeks off from work, I've been asked to document my experience at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival in under seven minutes. When it was all said and done, we did 42 shows in 24 days. There was Concrete Generation Presents, which was an original spoken word showcase that we put together for PBH Free Fringe. Lonsdale Terrace, you can find me, find me friends. Something real Asian, something real, real ethnic, something unforgettable. So I would walk on water on the backs of martyrs. I'm a miracle like the third day. Between what our parents teach and the videos of BET is how to repeat for the last time. Silly them, stop telling them they have the right to remain silent as if you ever gave them a choice. That's our lights and sound man, Anthony 2020 Collins, who, after challenging every MC he could find in Edinburgh, became a local freestyle legend known as Tony Porridge. Thanks to our regular features and street performing, we got to experience festival at its fullest. Our good friend Gaff, who knows everything there is to know about graphic novels and comics, kept us supplied with laughs and scotch. And Valeta Fish kept us fed for the whole trip with the Edinburgh Classic Fish and Chips and, of course, Iron Brew. It was so inspiring to go about the daily business of promoting our show and doing workshops in the midst of statues and castles and Edinburgh's beautiful architecture. Oh, and did I mention that the entire cast shared a flat? For 23 days in a row, we head to see venues, Maine, for the main event. Hey, you trying to keep my track? And the soundtrack to the social revolution was jazz. And at the forefront of jazz music was Miles Davis and John Coltrane. Icons of artistry. We call this new age expression blue. Period. Let the sessions begin. <laughs> what do you think of this show? Are we walking up that way? Oh. Best show I've seen at the Fringe. It was, everyone was so talented, skilled, everything on point, not one thing out of time, out of place. It was brilliant. And I loved it. And I'm spreading the word. They were on stage and they rocked! We missed! At C Venue. One of the best things we've seen on the Fringe. Absolutely loved it. Inspiring and painful in equal measure. And just, that's all I want from But the Facebook. acting was superb. And the music, absolutely wonderful. Great balance. Everything was fantastic. And I might come again, actually. And we, we already have recommended it to all our friends. And about been, eight, nine people have already come to see on our recommendations. All the oh, away by it. So brilliant. Thank you. thank you guys so much. Yay. We're famous in these streets. The guys in the band also got a serious workout because in addition to playing our show, they had several feature shows at the world famous jazz band. Even amidst the history and scenery and the castles that Edinburgh is so famous for, this would have been a challenging trip for any performer. 
Unfortunately for us, Edinburgh is also famous for serving liquor in fish bowls and sand pails. Don't go judging us. On August 26th, we said goodbye to our cast and the Miles and Co-Train Blue Period played its last show of the 2013 Fringe. 2020 and I spent the last week of festival hanging out with one of the UK's hottest bands, Black Diamond Express, and we even got to rock out with them at one of the UK's largest venues, O2 ABC. As you can see, we had great energy on stage with the Black Diamond Express, and we even talked about future collaborations, so I'm really excited about the possibilities. We get the feeling in your chest, make you feel it in your chest, the Black Diamond Express, get your soul clapped, get your soul clapped, We borrowed their lead bass player, Ewing, to play our last show at Henry's Cellar Bar in Edinburgh. We called the band the Soul Cypher, featuring 2020 and Mecca. Always in these streets.